Hey guys, it's me, your girl, Carrie. Okay. I don't know where to start with this. Okay. So it all began the day when Sora... It happened a few days ago after when Sora and Riku came back to Destiny Islands. I decided that maybe I should go visit some worlds by myself. So I went to... So I went to the mysterious tower to talk to Maxie and Sibar. He gave me permission to go, and I hopped on the, on the train. After a few after a few minutes of riding the train, the train landed me in, in a town called Harjion. I didn't know where where I was or my way around the place, so I just started walking around the place. And so I came to a small magic shop, a small shop that does ma that sells magic stuff. When I entered, I saw I saw a girl with, with blonde hair. I never knew who she was. She was shopping for something called gate keys. I didn't even know what they were. I walked up to her and asked asked her what she was doing, and she said she wanted to buy the gate key. But she didn't have. But I didn't know what the what it was until she showed me. She showed me a little silver key with a little dog on it. I didn't even know there was a dog at first. <laughs> it was crazy. Anyway, she tried to do this um thing that most girls do, like sexy and stuff, to like convince them, to convince the shopkeepers to give like a lower price. And he only got a thousand jewel. <laughs> After we left the magic shop, she told me her name was Lucy. And I told her my name was Kyrie. And it was so nice to meet her. And she told me that she was a celestial wizard. And I said I never heard of a celestial wizard before. So she was she was happy to bond she was happy to get to know me. Saying and I was happy to get to know her as well. I didn't know what to say at all. I was just so nervous to meet a meet a new person for the first time. We walked we walked we walked through the town a little bit until we heard some girls screaming about a salamander. I didn't even know what a salamander was, but Lucy did. She said it was a it was a wizard that, that can use fire magic. I'm like a person that can use fire magic without using a keyblade? Wow. I can have a look at this. By the time we got down there, it was some poser guy. All the girls were screaming and fangirling. I was just staring in disgust like, seriously? What the hell? I was totally like that. But unlike Lucy, she started feeling, I don't know, I can feel her heart beating so fast. Like she was falling for the guy. And I'm like, Lucy, you can do so much better than that guy. Come on. There has to be someone better there for you. Until we heard a voice saying, Igneal, Igneal, it's me. When, I, when we turned, I, we saw a boy with, silent, with pink hair and I think it was like a brownish gray eye color. But then from the moment I saw him, I couldn't believe it. He looks so cute. But anyway, I snapped out of my thoughts and Lucy snapped out of her fantasy. It was kind of funny if I we said, who the hell are you? It was kind of funny. And then the girl started like going all over him. And then he, then he handed, then the salamander guy handed the boy a sig it's a signature. <laughs> then he refused it, and then the girls just went piled all over him. It was so crazy. Um. Anyway, uh. So he he before he left, he said that he was having a rendezvous on his ship, and all the girls there were invited, including me. I did not want to go at all. But. One thing's for sure, if Lucy went, I had to keep an eye on her and see if she didn't do anything stupid. Still. So we went 
So we went up to the boy and his cat. Lucy thanked them for, for his help, which I don't understand why, because she should have been daydreaming about it. Anyway, we went to a small cafe to get something to eat. Lucy offered to pay, and I was, and it was very generous with her, and I said I'll pay her back one day. I just got myself just a bowl of soup. As for the boy and his cat, they were scarfing food everywhere. I learned that their names were not so unhappy. <laughs> and I was like, happy? As in the feeling happy? <laughs> That's a strange name for a cat. <laughs> Natsu thought that I was offending him. I was like, no, I, I'm not. I think it's actually kind of cute. Just <laughs> like your, and I like your name too, Natsu. I smiled so happy to him. And I, can, and I could have swore I saw him blush a little bit. Lucy and I introduced ourselves. And Lucy was telling us about a, what, how the Salamander guy made the, all the girls fall in love with him. She, she said that they were, he was using charm spells. Which I didn't understand what charm spells were until she um, told, me, told us about it. It was like forbidden magic. They've been banned for years. No one even sells them anymore. And she said that he must have gone to a lot of trouble to try and get them. And apparently, she told me not Sue and Happy that she was a wizard. Um, and she she looked at me and quite saying, are you a wizard, Kyrie? And I'm like, huh? I don't even know what a wizard is or what it, or anyway. Uh, I'm a princess of heart. I'm a keyblade wielder. She didn't understand it at first. <laughs> but as she didn't understand it, she, so I lifted my hand and showed her my key fight. She was, she was, she was amazed. And so, not as for not so happy, they were like shocked. And I told them that I was one of the, I'm a member of the Guardians of Light. They didn't know what it was until until I put it into detail. They were amazed and asked why I was in Hajion. And I just said, well. I'm kind of looking for a place that I can take a take a break from my friends, cause my friends and I, cause my friends went on so many adventures, and I'm just traveling so I can have an adventure of my own. Yeah, and Liz, yeah, they understood. So Lucy said, "Do you want to join a guild?" I'm like, "What's a guild?" I don't think I've ever heard about a guild before. Where, where I come from, it's like... I never heard of it before, so... I don't know what's, what it's about, or... How you do it. Until Lucy explained everything about what a guild is. So, once I understand? So she explained what a, what a guild was to not to me, Happy, Natsu, and Lucy. Me, Natsu, and Happy. Where wizards come together to share yeah, so she explained to what it was to all three of us, and I actually understand. Guilds are these organizations where wizards come together to share information and find work and things like that. Okay. Unfortunately, you aren't considered a full-fledged wizard until you become a member of a guild. Until I understand that, she understand it until she started fangirling. There are tons of them all over the world. I've heard it's really tough to get into the more popular ones in the guild. I want to join is the most popular one there is. <laughs> they're the greatest and they're always featured in Sorcerer Weekly. Oh, if I can actually convince them to let me in, I think I just about to. <laughs> she went all crazy. <laughs> I just like started giggling at her not so unhappy. They kind of went like annoyed in the head. And yeah, so it was kind of weird. She said it sounded like gibberish to us, but no, it wasn't. We totally understand. And that's when she asked not so unhappy. 
You guys came here trying to find somebody, didn't you? And I asked them, who are you guys looking for? And Happy replied, We're looking for Igneo. We heard a rumor that a salamander was going to be coming through this town, so we came here to see him. Turns out it was somebody else. Yeah, that guy didn't look like a salamander at all. No kidding. I bet that poser can't even breathe fire like a real dragon. When he said breathe fire like a real dragon, I'm like, huh? Uh, I don't get it. Your friend Igneo looks like a dragon? Hmm? Yeah. Is Does he look like a dragon? Because I never seen anyone like that before. No, you got it all wrong. He doesn't look like a dragon. He is one. Huh? Huh? Ah, Igneo is a real-life fire dragon! What? I was so shocked at, th at that. It was... Unbelievable! I, I didn't even know that that was even possible! Until Lizzie screamed out, like... Like this. I had to agree with her. It was ridiculous. I couldn't even... I didn't even want to believe it at first. It was crazy. I never seen anyone like that. Or why would a fire dragon be in the middle of hard deal like that? It was totally crazy. No dragon... Not even a real dragon could be in this world. It was totally mind blown. No one even knew about that. So Lucy paid for them, and we left. The sh and we left. We sat. We sat by in a nearby park to talk to talk about it until she gave me a book, a, no a magazine called Sorcerer Weekly. And she said, she said she was reading a page on the Fairy Tale Guild. And I've heard about the guild from Mas Master Yan Sid. You see, before I left, they said he said that I needed to find a, a place called Fairy Tale to stay. If I'm gonna be if I'm gonna take on some adventures. I'm like, Fairy Tale. Sounds enchanted. She was geeking that she really wanted to join the Fairy Tale Guild. And I, and I, was, and I was just sitting in my head. Nice. I wish I could join that guild. I wish. I had a little bit of disappointment in my head. And I thought that nothing good was going to happen. Until we heard a voice saying that we wanted to join the, that she wanted to join the fairy tale guild. Until we turned around and saw the salamander guy. And he was trying to use the charm spell on us. But Lucy knew that, he, that it wouldn't work on us. Because. People, cause, cause it doesn't work on people that know that it's gonna be used. And then, and then he said that, he, that she wanted to join the fairy tale guild, and looked at me saying, "You want to join too, don't you?" And she said about something about the salamander or fairy tale, and Lucy was like going on and was going on about it, saying he was the salamander fairy tale. And I'm like looking at him, and I'm like. I don't think he's fairy tale material at all. Plus, something else Master Yen Sin mentioned was the fairy tale guild mark. All members of fairy tale had a guild mark on them. By the look of this guy, I don't think I can see it anywhere. Until Lucy got Zulu ch charmed. But I didn't. Seriously, who falls for a guy like that? And she said that the will definitely come. I'm like, huh? No way in hell, Lucy. I am not going. Until she just said, Hooray! He's gonna get us into fairy tale. I like this in my head. I don't think he's not. Seriously, Lucy, you you gotta find some more people. If you're if you're watching this, Lucy, seriously, find better people. Anyway. We basically got dressed up and went went aboard his ship. The salamander guy and I, salamander guy and I and Lucy went to the went to the um bottom deck to have a drink with him. And it was like creepy. 
He let he basically clicked his fingers and told us to take every single drop of the bubbles. But I stand up, I stand up and knock it. Lucy and I stand up and knock the bottles aside. What do you think you're doing? Lucy knew what he was trying to do. He was trying to use sleep magic. And she's like, she doesn't, she doesn't want to get the wrong idea. Yes, she just wanted to get into the fairy tale code, but she doesn't want to date him. Lucy, why would you think that? I'm like, girl, come on. It's not, it's not it. Until he snapped his fingers and saw all his men kidnap all the girls. He lied to Lucy and me, saying that he was going to get into the fairy tale. Lucy was about to pull out her gate keys, and I was about to pull out my keyblade. When the salamander guy burnt our, burnt our wrists, and it didn't hurt that bad, but I couldn't summon it, and Lucy's gate keys got knocked out. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. Until we heard a huge crash from the roof. We looked and saw Natsu there. But the one thing that we didn't know is that he got sick all of a sudden. And I'm like, are you okay there? He didn't answer me, so... Yeah, let's leave that aside. Anyway, we saw Happy up there and saying that he asked us what he was, what we were doing there. And we said that he was trying to get us in the fairy tale. And we looked at Happy and I'm like, Happy, when, since when do you have wings? I've never seen you, I've seen a cat with wings before. And he said that he'll explain later. Then he, he grabbed Lucy, but he couldn't take care of me. So I used my keyblade glider to, to, to fly, to fly across the ocean to catch up with them. We were worried about Natsu until, until Happy's transformation turned up and they fell into the water. I went close to them to see if they were okay. And they were okay. Uh, Lucy pulled out one of her gate keys and she said, Open! Get the water bearer! Aquarius! And I saw a mermaid. And Happy's like, A fish! And Lucy was said, Not for you! And I'm like, Aquarius, isn't that a zodiac sign? Lucy, you've got to show me how to do those. She was happy, but she was, but she was in the middle of this. She asked, um, she asked Aquarius to help us. <laughs> but uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say this. She um, <clears throat> kind of. She, um, she kind of scared me a little bit, because of the way she, um, did it to Lucy when she asked him. I want you to use your power to push that ship back into the port. You're supposed to come from the spirit world to help, not to give me attitude. I wouldn't make her any angrier, Lucy. Let's get something straight. The next time you so much as think about dropping my key, you're dead. <laughs> it won't happen again! She was terrifying. And she used her powers to push the ship back into the port. But I think she went a little too far. Everyone was washed up. Unlike me, I used my Keyblade for a barrier spell. And Lucy and Aquarius had a little bit of an argument. What's the big deal? You think you could have tried not to sweep me up with the ship? Oh, that was an accident. I didn't mean to get the ship. Oh. Wait, that means you were aiming for me? Calm down, Lou. for a while. I'm going on a week-long vacation with my boyfriend. What? And he's hot. You don't have to rub it in! Oh, God, that's awkward. I think Lucy should listen to, listen to her. I don't think I want to get her angry either. Especially, um bothering her when she's on a week-long vacation with her boyfriend. Ugh, I couldn't even do it. We saw Natsu on the top of the ship. He said that he that he's he said that Salamander claims to be a member of the fairy tale guild. 
and I think Natsu knew the exact same thing like me. He was not a member of the Fairy Tale Guild. I had a feeling about it. At least it Natsu took off his jacket and knocked one of the guys out. I'm like, is he really that strong? I never met anyone like that before. I don't think I've ever seen someone like that before. Somehow I felt like, I, my heart started feeling like, I couldn't explain it. I went all fluttery inside. He looks so brave and strong. We were worried about him that he was going to get hurt. But Happy said, Watch out! Don't worry about him. I probably should have told you this earlier, but he's a wizard too. Wait, what? <gasps> My name is Natsu. I'm a fairy tale wizard, and I've never seen you before. <laughs> you should be kidding me. Natsu's a fairy tale wizard? That's incredible. I almost fainted at the sound of that. He got hit by a fire spell and we were so and I was so worried that he got burnt. But till oh, we this heard is so gross. Huh? Are you sure that you're really a fire wizard? Because here's the nastiest flames I've ever tasted. She was eating the flames! It was crazy! I never seen anyone like that before. And Happy said, Fire magic doesn't work on Natsu. I've never seen anything like that. You and me both, Lucy. I couldn't explain it. His fire dragon magic was incredible. His first spell was incredible. It was incredible! That fire dragon roar was out of this world! And I knew what he was! Not about it! He's gotta be the real one! He was the salamander of fairy tale! I never knew what it, how- He eats fire and then attacks with it? Yeah! Lucy and I didn't understand it, so she asked Happy- But how does he do it? Is it some kind of spell? Dragon lungs that allow him to breathe fire. Dragon scales to help him to dissolve the fire. And dragon claws for attacking with fire. Really? His friend of fire magic is one that allows his body to take on all the qualities of a dragon. It's an ancient spell that's rarely used anymore. Really? Seriously? That's amazing. Particular magic was originally used to deal with dragons. Oh. <laughs> that's incredible. I never seen anyone like that. So, who taught him it? Dragon Slay Magic. Incredible. It was amazing, the battle was. But. Oh, wow. That was amazing. I think. But you oh, we did, did it. it. I. Oh, shut it, Kat. What need I? Until the army came. Lucy and I started to the get a little worried and not to stand not to pull us. You're taking us! Just come on, you said that you wanted to join the fairy tale guild, didn't you? <gasps> really? I couldn't believe my eye ears and hot eyes. We were going to join the fairy tale guild. So let's go. <gasps> Yeah! It was amazing! I couldn't believe it! That I was actually going to join a guild for the first time in my entire life! It was incredible! I finally get to learn what a, what a guild is. And what it does, and what it does. And do I really get to know more about what a what a guild it what a what the fairy tale guild does?
We were out we were outside the fairy tale guild hall and Happy said Welcome to Fairy Tale. It was a huge <laughs> It was amazing. The biggest building I've seen. Not to keep the door. And we saw so many people there. I was all in a starry eye moment. I couldn't believe it. I was over the moon. So I heard you went all out party on Natsu. Had to go start in trouble. Suddenly Natsu kicked a guild member. And I was questioning the same thing. Why did he do that? Until he said I'm about that salamander. I'm gonna kick your butt. Don't get mad at me. I'm not the one to blame here. I'm just passing along a rumor I heard. It was just a rumor? You wanna fight? We were shocked. <laughs> we were shocked and kind of surprised. We never ever got got to see this place before, and by the looks of it, it was amazing. So not to finally made it back, huh? <laughs> Gray. He, um, um, I had no clothes on. Greg, next time, could you please put some clothes on? It's, it's really a habit of you. It's kind of embarrassing. She went over to start fighting with Natsu until. Gray, your clothes? Until I met Kana. She holds the title for Fairy Tale's heaviest drinker. I'm like, Heaviest drinker, really? Until I heard a manly voice. Lucy and I turned around. And you boys are already whining like spoiled <laughs> I saw how big that guy was. He was a. He said he was a real man. And <laughs> not doing great. Knocked him out in one go. And we heard some kind of like a low voice. And we turned around and saw a guy with two girls. Jeez, so around here, huh? <laughs> That's how I met Loki. Seriously, I think he needs to. Are you new here? There's not one same person. It was crazy until we heard a sweet voice. Hello. Are you new here? Huh? I saw a, this, this is how I first met Mary Jane. She was sweet and kind, and not, Lucy, she started fangirling at the sight of her. Mary Jane, <laughs> She was crazy about her. I think I can understand it. Boy. I mean, I can understand it. I mean, I, I read about Mary Jane before. <laughs> Lucy asked Mary Jane if we should stop the fight. And then Okay. Oh god. Oh, don't die, Mary Jane. She's, she's not gonna die. Oh my god. Not to have Grace underwear and I couldn't even look. I couldn't even look. I didn't want to. Ugh. It's not right for a lady to see. They all had magic. Until we saw a giant. We didn't even know who he was. So, and everyone stopped. Until Mira Jane said that. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were still here, Master. Huh? Did you say Master? That's the master of the fairy tale guild? He was huge. I didn't expect him to be that huge. Until he shrunk down. Nice to meet ya. He's tiny. This little guy's really in charge here. What? Of course he is. Huh? Allow me to introduce the fairy tale guild master, Bakarov. Okay. That's weird. And he explained how our ma how the fairy tale guild's magic should work. 
being and come pouring out of your soul. If all we do is worry about following rules, then our magic will never progress. Don't let those cohorts on the council scare you. Follow the path you believe in. Because that's what makes the fairy tale guild number one. <laughs> Later on, Lucy and I got our got our fairy tale our fairy tale guild marks. Lucy got hers on her hand. As for me, I got it I got it right on my on my right arm. I couldn't believe it. I was actually an official member of Fairy Tale. Now you're an official member of the Fairy Tale Guild. Thanks, Mira! We went over to show Natsu, but he didn't really care. He was like this to Lucy. Hey, Mira Jane, you just put the official fairy tale mark on my hands! Oh yeah, that's cool. Welcome to the guild, Looney. Your name's Lucy! <laughs> oh yeah, welcome to the game, Looney. The name's Lucy! <laughs> oh, not to. We saw the, the request board. Basically, this is where you can get reward money by do you take jobs, and it was pretty cool. And so we heard a small boy talking to Master Makarov. How come my dad hasn't come back yet? Huh? You're starting to work my nerves, Romeo. You're a wizard, son. Have faith in your father and wait patiently for him. But sir, he told me that he'd be back in three days. And he's been gone for over a week now. If I remember correctly, he took the job on Mount Hakabe. That's right, and it's not that far from here, so why won't somebody go look for him? Listen, kid, your old man's a wizard. Like every other wizard in this guild, he can take care of himself. Now go home, have some milk and cookies, and wait. Yeah! <laughs> I hate you all! That's gotta be tough. I know it sounds like the master doesn't care, but he really is worried. <gasps> what do you think you're doing? Oh. You almost broke the board, Natsu. <sighs> hey, Natsu! This doesn't look good, Master. You know how he can be. Who knows? We can't choose another's path. Just leave him be. Hey, Mira, why did Natsu get so upset? Probably because he and Romeo have a lot in common. What? I think he sees himself in Romeo. How? Just because we're members of Fairy Tale, it doesn't mean we don't have our own personal issues. Really? We've all had our fair share of suffering and loss. Later on that day, not Lucy and I decided to go with Natsu to help. When we were riding, he had a bad case of motion sickness. He was like, oh. He was like, oh, why did you come with us? I thought maybe I could help. We can help. Wow, you really do have a serious case of motion sickness, don't you? Yeah. It's just another reason to feel sorry for you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. nothing. Okay, we didn't say anything. anything. Yeah, but before we left, Mira told us the story about Natsu and his dad. Many years ago, Natsu's father left and never came back. What? Well, technically it wasn't his real father, but the one who raised him. He was actually a dragon. What? Hang on. <gasps> I'm sorry? What? Natsu, Natsu was, was really raised, raised by, by a dragon? dragon? But how, Mira? When he was a little boy, a dragon found him wandering the forest. He took him in and taught him all about language, culture, and magic. But one day, the dragon disappeared and never returned. Wait, so, so that dragon, dragon must have been, been Igneal? That's right. And Natsu lives for the day when he'll finally see Igneal again. It's kind of cute, don't you think? Yeah. I think it what it is. By by the end of that, kind of remind me of how I how I didn't have a family, I only had my friends with me. But sooner or later, I learned about my my mother Sharayuki. I didn't tell anyone about it, cause I thought it didn't matter to them. So, that's another that's another reason why I wanted to go out and look for an adventure, ever guys. I wanted to go see my mom. 
I wanted to find her and see what she was. But I knew I needed to take a break. So I went with Nat. So, for the time being, Fairy Tale will always be my home. We are, we arrived at, we arrived at Matt at the mountain. Natsu was happy as hell to get out. When we op but when we opened the door, it was freezing. It was so cold. I couldn't even I didn't even want to get out of the car. I couldn't even feel like I was going to freeze to death out here. Lucy was complaining the most. Like <laughs> and she pulled out one of her keys. This time it was a silver key with a clock symbol on it and she summoned it saying <laughs> Then suddenly out of nowhere appeared a talking clock You got that right. Lucy was inside talking, but we couldn't Wait, hear her. I can't hear you. Until the Harlegian answered. She says I'm staying in here and I'm not coming out. Then why'd you tag along? Not to basically ask that to both of us. Me, I said, I want to. I'm here because I want to help. As a member of the Guardians of Light, we do everything we can to help. I'm not just some princess. I'm a, I'm a guardian of light, and a keyblade wielder. I don't sit around and look pretty. I'm here to fight. After all, I'm a member of your guild now, Natsu. We'll always be a guild. So I'm helping. Lucy said, said this. What kind of crazy job would force Macau to come to a place like this? She inquires. Kind of questioning the same thing, and Natsu answered, You should have asked that before you came with us. He went to slay a Vulcan, it's a big monster. What? What's a <laughs> I'm like, a Vulcan? What the hell's a Vulcan? Lucy just said, I want to go back to the guild. She proclaims, Go ahead and be my guest. I say back, ah. Hey, wait up. Not, I decided to go with them just in case. Lucy just stays back in, in the clock. As we were walking, I started to get even colder than I ever felt. <sighs> Natsu asked if I was alright, and I said, I'll be okay, I think. I kept shivering until I felt something warm around my neck. I looked at my neck and saw saw a scarf. Then I realized it was not his scarf. He said he didn't want me to freeze to death out here. I saw him with a little bit of flush on it, flush on his face. I didn't question a single thing. I just smiled with it on and said, Thanks, Natsu. I really appreciate it. You're the best. He just turned away, smiling. We were at the edge of the of, of the mountain, yelling Macau's name. Macau, where are you? Hello, Macau, where are you? Then suddenly, we something just came jumping at us. Before I could even faint, the Vulcan came right at me and grabbed me. I'm like, I was terror. I didn't know what to do. I'm like, hey, put me down. I am not your toy, mister. 